Hey YouTube, guess what? Road trip! <laughs> yes! I am actually taking a few days off of real job, thank God, um, and I am using it to take a road trip to Texas, uh, which isn't actually that far from me. I'm, I'm driving about eight hours to uh, see an excellent friend of mine that I haven't seen in years. Um, actually, about a year and a half, and so it's been about a year and a half too long. So, the first thing I did is get my sunglasses this morning, and they promptly broke. So you can't have a road trip without sunglasses, and I bought some new ones. As we know, I prefer the kind that make my face look like a bug. So here we go, finally on the road, and uh, I'll keep you posted. This historical marker looked kind of cool to me, so I decided to stop and look around. It's the Rio Salado Sand Dunes, and they have the neatest little lunch places you could go in there and eat in the shade because it gets very, very hot here in the summertime. And this is a few miles down the road, several hours, I guess. I had been staring at dirt and sky and sky and dirt, so I decided to get out of the truck and walk around and actually play in the dirt for a minute. And here's me in Roswell, New Mexico. One day I'm going to make a trip there, but this time I was just passing through. Okay, I'm just driving through Texas now. And I saw the coolest thing. It's probably, you know, you may or may not think it's the coolest thing, but I'm about to show you what it is. There's these fire things flying out of some kind of industrial thing. And it must be going like 50 feet in the air, so I'm going to show you it real quick. See that? Is that cool or what? Those fires are like 50 feet long out there. How awesome is that? Okay, so <laughs> I'm stuck in traffic in Texas. Um, like, there's some kind of a road construction thing happening, so they have it blocked off with one of those pilot cars going, and I'm just kind of parked in the middle of Texas. But I wanted to show you the cool uh, scenery that I'm looking at, and there is an oil derrick that if you don't mind looking through my windshield, I can show it to you. Okay. <laughs> there, see? There it goes, just derricking away. So that is what we're working on right now, the, uh, the return trip. And I guess I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so right now I'm parked on the side of the road and there is this really cool volcano thing happening. Well, the volcano has gone years and years and years, decades or millennia or whatever from ago. But uh, I want to walk around for a second and look at the lava. So I'm just kind of parked here and we're going to go look around. <laughs> so I'm just walking around in here and here's an example of that lava I'm telling you about. How cool is that? It's like all split apart and then... Right beside it, you have your brown rocks. I don't know where they came from, if it's the highway department put those there or what. And then, look at this, a cactus with a flower on it. I think that's great. And you can see it's got like ridge. That's big. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell in the camera, but it looks to be about 35 feet high. Zoom in, if I can do that. Oh, it's windy. <laughs> I'm gonna get back in the car before someone rams the back of me. And uh, evidently there's a scenic overlook in another half hour, uh, half mile, so I might stop there too. Oh look, and the rare and wonderful tire plant. Look at that. I like it when they get in nature. And here's the scenic area they were talking about. It really is pretty. And then, on the other side of the road, there's a rainstorm. I like looking at the rain in the desert. It's really, really cool. See you how know, it gets little curtains, curtains of rain? Very awesome. Check out the texture of that rock. How cool is that? You can see the little lava flowy jobs things, whatever. And that appears to be a yucca. And that, I'm standing way too close to it. I was totally about to back into that. It looks spiny. I don't have any idea what kind of cactus that is, but he certainly is cool. And there's another yucca of some sort. I have a couple of those in my yard. Look at this little lava flow down here, and then that's a big yucca down there. This is really cool. So I made it back and forth to Midland, Texas in about 16 hours total drive time. I had a great time. Thanks for coming with me.